so we finally made it to the beautiful archipelago of St. Kilda. It's like Island Nibbler in Jurassic Park. Mission completed. Now it's time to start the amazing adventure back home to the Scottish Highlands to get back to Norway. Perfect sailing conditions all the way into Haugesund now. In this chapter we will experience the old village of Castle Bay and drop our anchor at Island of Rum to have a walk around this very mysterious settlement. So let's fall down to the island of St. Kilda, into Village Bay to check if Eric is ready for the first leg of his return. Okay, welcome back to another video. Next video, the turn point from St. Kilda back to Norway. First leg. Uh, the plan is now to sail to Castle Bay and uh, have a pause there, relax. I just arrived at St. Kilda two hours ago and uh, there's no need for me to stay here because uh, I've seen what I want to see and uh, the winds are uh, going to be, it's going to be wind quiet the next uh, six hours so it will be uh, motoring towards Castle Bay, 65 nautical miles away. If I stay here, the wind will pick up real bad and uh, I will have, uh, have it in my face tomorrow morning if I should spend the night there. So it's, it's no reason to stay here. So let's start her up and let's go. St. Kilda just as fast as I arrived. In my mind I knew I was going to miss this place and that I was not going to see it again for a very long time, if ever. As I slipped more and more away from the shoals, my thoughts went to the many inhabitants who once brought a vivid life to this place. But in the end, had to give it up, leaving it all behind. Just as I had to do now. But the force of an adventure is strong. And we had to keep going towards our new goals. Into the unknown again. What a life. Wow. So the winds are certainly perfect and we're going straight to, the, to our target of Castle Bay. There is uh, reported headwinds but we're going to do this as long as it goes. And uh, St. Kilda is about 20 miles behind us so we are well on our way and I'm tired. I've been up since 0600 this morning and uh, it's about midnight now, so I need some shut eye and just sleep a little bit, rest a little bit. Oh. Beautiful early morning light slightly occurred, manifesting the silhouette of the old Hebrides. I stayed awake to watch the night turn into day and start the approach in between the archipelago. So that's us entering the Hebrides again. We are going to this channel to get out on the east side of the Hebrides. 
and uh, going southwards to the island of Barra. That's where the beautiful Castle Bay is. While Eric is preparing for the approach, let us take a look at the sponsor of this video, NordVPN. I've been sailing around Scotland for three weeks now, and along the way I read emails and share photos and videos of my experiences on social medias. Whoa. For me, this requires a safe internet connection. To be sure I'm safe online, I use NordVPN. Not only does it hide my IP address against online intruders, it also comes with a bunch of other features like antivirus, firewalls and multi-factor authentication. Let's say you open an email with a link to what seems to be a credible website. You click on it, then Nord's antivirus will stop you because the website is found to be hostile. By changing your virtual location, you can also find better deals on flights, hotels and rental cars, as this varies from where you are located while browsing around. It's easy to install by downloading the app, get a subscription and you're good to go. So head over to nordvpn.com slash Eric and get 4 months extra on a 2 year plan. It's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. Now let's head into the sound of Barra. Some locals were greeting me as we sailed through the sound on a rapidly following current. There's a current coming from the behind there, a ferry. We're soon out of the sound and we can uh, pull out uh, Genoa again and get going southwards to, to Barra and to the Castle Bay. completely disappeared around us. We are close to land, but it's not that possible to see land. The wind increased and the fog kept creeping in surrounding us as we came closer to the narrow channel leading into Castle Bay. It was time to change the course into the foggy leadway, so I prepared for the jibe. The Genoa got rolled back in to slow down the speed entering unknown waters. I had to rely on the radar and chart plotter as the sight was very poor. So we found the entrance with help of the radar and, uh, and the chart plotter here. It's so nice to have when it's foggy. And of course Tiger as an outlook, without any worries. Pouring rain, I found my way into sheltered waters, just at the famous castle in which the little village is named after. The building itself is actually named Kissimmel Castle. It's built around 1400 by the McNeil clan to house the chief himself. 
the castle is today leased by the chief of Clan MacNeil to historic Scotland for a thousand years for a yearly sum of one British pound and a bottle of whiskey. I have to say I would love to get in on that deal. Kissimul Castle is guarding the little village of Castle Bay, which also is the main village and a community council on the island of Barra, with its population of 307 souls. I was pretty sure there was peace to find after many hours without sleep. Bay, rainy and foggy and windy. Challenging, but nice. So now I'm really hungry and I want something to eat and I'm going to find some kind of a food place, restaurant or something and put a large dinner into my stomach. I haven't been sleeping properly since I left uh, Sound of Harris uh, Saturday, uh, sun Sunday morning. Today is Monday morning. Yep. Okay. Good morning again from Castle Bay. And we got a beautiful visitor this morning. The Flying Dutchman. And I'm going from Castle Bay now and over to Rum, the island of Rum, and I'm looking really much forward to it. The weather is beautiful, and the uh, wind is against us, but it's not too much, so I think it's gonna be a nice, beautiful sail. So let's go. proceeded throughout the sound and set the course towards the Scottish Highlands. So as we are leaving the bay here, we can already see rum in the horizon. It's uh, 32 nautical miles away, but still you can see it pretty clear. But I think uh, the wind is favorable, so I think actually we can uh, hoist our sails and try to point our bow to, uh, to rum. As we left Castle Bay, the rain suddenly started pouring down from the grey sky. I had to quickly change over to the heavy weather gear to not get completely soaked. Now the adventure could start again. Nice! We're doing 6 knots. 11 knots wind now, perfect. We're going straight for Rum in the bow. Beautiful. The wind suddenly disappeared, and I had no other choice than recover the sails, tidy up the cockpit, and proceed towards the highlands in heavy fog. So we are closing into Huske Lighthouse, just over here. And I was hoping we could swing the drone around it, but uh, it is kind of rainy, drizzle. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to spare the health of the drone this time. Just enjoy the view. Let's just to proceed in the rain towards Ramda. Straight into the fog. Look at that. <laughs> so that's that's one for you. Well, it's a thick fog here and uh, raining pretty heavy. So that's it. But you gotta take what you get in nature. 
but it's kind of nice anyway to, to stay out in the rain being dressed up like this and uh, not, not actually be affected by it. I'm just having a great time. It's nice. A huge pack of seabirds accompanied me along the shoreline of Rum, showing me the way towards the anchorage. Wow, so it suddenly cleared up and we can see Scotland here and the, around us. We are surrounded by all those Scottish mountains and hills and here it's rum. That's how it looks like on the on the east side. And we're surrounded by hundreds, maybe thousands of birds, birds flying around us. Amazing. So it's nice to have vision again. And now we're just going around the, the corner here. And that should be the, the anchorage the bay. Let's get in. That's us entering the bay. What a beautiful place, wow. And that's the highest point on the island. 800 meters. Wow, what a place to be anchored, the bay in Rum. And you can even see this beautiful castle over here. I'm gonna have a look at it tomorrow and uh, explore a little bit around. I just need to build up my little dinghy again. So now it's just, I think it's, I think it's whiskey time. Cheers. Can't be better than that. See you tomorrow. The weather sure changes rapidly around the highlands. A fresh breeze and a sunny sky created a fine day to explore this mountainous green covered island before heading further inshore. some bumpy seas I found my way towards shore. I found a pair which probably is meant for the ferries and tourist boats, but I took a chance tying up. Hey, is it okay to stay here? Yeah. It is? Yeah. I could set my foot on rum. So here is the rum visitor center and they even got showers. If I knew that, I would bring my fresh clothing, but we have to do without. I was a bit surprised to see how well the place was set up for yachting and tourism. I was expecting it to be way more desert. I started walking around the gravel road but had to make some stops to spectate the picturesque scenery occurring around every corner. Even here, blended into the wooded landscape, 40 inhabitants have found their peace. So I'm having a walk on rum, finally. What a beautiful place, it's so green, so many trees here compared to what I'm used to at West with St. Kilda and, uh, and the Hebrides. Not too much trees there. And I'm going to have a look at this beautiful castle coming up here soon. Wow. This is Kinloch Castle. It was originally built as a private summer residence for the textile tycoon Sir George Bullock in 1897. The castle and island is today owned by Nature Scott 
who operated it as a hostel until 2015. The castle has since declined and seems to have been partly forgotten and left alone without any further care. Unfortunately, it's, uh, the castle is locked for the public. It's uh, renovations needed. I, I'm not, I don't know if it's going on, but I think it's renovation needed. I wonder if there are any ghosts in there. Maybe in the window up there. I thought I saw something. The remains are for sure living memories of a great, luxurious, ancient lifestyle with the castle overlooking the beautiful anchorage bay of Rum. Doesn't look too open. I hiked further along until I saw the only sign of life this day. Arriving the local shop. With some snacks in my pocket, I strolled back to the dinghy. I could happily check the island off my bucket list. Okay, the wind has picked up and it's time to get back. I have full, I have full fall weather gear on me. So this can be a wet one, let's go. fresh ride. Uh, I'm thinking of cleaning my deck. We are inshore now in the Scotland waters. Inshore waters so uh, we don't need all this uh, offshore gear. The inner foresail and uh, the janocker. I'm gonna have an easy sail into the fjords here so I think I'm gonna clean the deck and make place for the dinghy on deck. Let's see if we can fit it in here. Perfect. Fender board. Here. I also detached the inner forestay to make some more space for the dinghy. It's really convenient to have the option. So the end of the wire is now attached here. And I'm gonna, <coughs> oh, sorry. I'm gonna tighten it up. It's pretty good now. And then it's a Jamaica bag around the hole. So if it's wet, it will dry out anyway. Last one is always the hardest. There we go. Okay. So Tessie is now back to cruising mode. Only mainsail and Genoa. So let's take up the anchor and get going to the next destination. it for now but we are far from done stay tuned for next video when we start sailing deep into the beautiful Scottish Highlands to make a brief stop along the route at Tobermory further on we could enjoy a very windy downwind sail through the fjords before tying up at Oban so follow me on Facebook and Instagram support me on Patreon and PayPal and get your NBJS merchandise by following the links in the video description and if you drop me an email on this address, you can get this uh, NBJS Burgi. And I'd love to add a personal written note to go with the, with the Burgi. So send me an email. And subscribe to my channel, drop a like, leave a comment. It's gonna help my videos uh, go up in the algorithms. Yeah, that's it. Enough crap talk again. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.